Now, I know we're talking about the top of the ticket, but let's move on to statewide races. Let's go down the ballot a little bit. Is there a lot of ticket splitting? What does that look like across these states? Yeah, we do see some ticket splitting. Um, we see that really across the board, frankly. I think the biggest is in North Carolina, the gubernatorial contest. We see that Stein is up by double digits uh, over Robinson. I think that we know why that might be the case, uh, but we definitely see a few Republicans uh, who say that they're gonna support Stein. Uh, we definitely see significant numbers of independents who say they're going to vote for Stein. And in these other states, for the Senate contests, we see similar figures, not among Republicans, but we see these candidates running up the score a little bit among independents. Uh, so a lot of them are still undecided relative to where we are in the election period, uh, somewhere around 10 percent on average, let's say. Uh, but, you know, these these independent voters, these are the folks who Harris would really like to court, I'm sure. And uh, they are overall breaking for the Senate candidate, if uh, the Democratic Senate candidate, rather. And if that holds on Election Day, they may be able to boost Harris's numbers in some of these states. But uh, yeah, th so that ticket splitting, that might shrink. That might shrink come Election Day if these Senate candidates can help boost Harris uh, in some of these states where there are contests. If we all remember back in 2022, there was oh, there was rumors of a red wave that failed to materialize. It was more of a red trickle. When we're looking at House races and Senate races, do you think there's going to be a blue wave, a red wave, or is it going to be pretty much a dead heat like we're seeing in the presidential race? Yeah, I'm not expecting a wave in any sense this uh, November. I think if anything, you know, the, the polls throughout this cycle since Harris has joined the ticket, they've been pretty consistent in showing that it is a tight race everywhere in all of these swing states. Nationally, uh, the uh, you know generic congressional ballot, that has looked very close. We've been looking at some of these competitive swing districts. Uh, it's just too close to call at this point. I don't think that we will get some uh, surprise wave, be it red or blue. But, you know, there's always a surprise. I think that there might be one state out there uh, where either candidate could push the margin much higher than we anticipated. It might be a swing state, it might not be, uh, but we'll see. You know, I think that there there is always some sort of surprise come November, and we've had blind spots in polling previously. We're trying our best to cover those spots, but I think they're always gonna be there. Yeah, definitely too close to call. Definitely a tight race. So with that being said, and I know I always ask you this at the end of our conversations, but I'm curious. So what are you looking out for between now and November 5th? I'm going to be looking at a few different things. Uh, I, I think that that gender split is really important. Like I mentioned before, I think in some of these states like Pennsylvania, especially uh, Harris is going to have to move the, the needle there if she hopes to win the state overall, uh, we're going to keep an eye on that independent vote. You know, I think it's worth noting that you know, when we break down these numbers, these Democrats, independents and Republicans, you know, we're talking a smaller sample size overall. So there is a higher margin of error. And so we'll want to keep a look a lookout on those trends and how this trend trend lines are going uh, right now. It, it, it's sort of a mixed bag and it would be tough to call one way or the other. But, you know, that's th those independent voters, especially we're going to be looking out for that. Um, and otherwise, you know, I, frankly, I'm going to keep an eye on turnout and turnout projections, um, absentee ballots. I know we don't use that in our polling and we don't use that necessarily to project elections, but it is something that I think is interesting and we'll be keeping an eye out nevertheless. Well, a lot to look out for, and I'm excited that you're keeping an eye out because that means hopefully you and I can have more conversations. Matt Taglia, thank you so much for joining me. Absolutely. Thanks for having me.